whatever. They they banned it, so yeah, why I, talk about it anyways? As of right now, Deus Vault, they have a very tanky front line. So I'm really thinking about what kind of marksman do they uh, want to get to be able to chunk all of this down. I kind of feel like Lilia will do like the, the first run of damage. Yeah. So after that, I don't know. It has been very popular here in M5, the Brody pick. Yeah. But I would say the performance or the result is very up in the air. Yeah. Yeah. I think, the, I mean, the Brody's solid. I think it's it's just been something that people have fallen back to when they can't get their hands on the Wan Wan, they can't get their hands on the Bruno. Um, I mean, it's that. We've seen that Beatrix is becoming popular again a little bit. Yeah. Towards the end of group stage, I feel like we saw a lot more of it compared to yeah. the beginning, but there goes the Ixia, man. man. They Forcing a Bruno ban? They yeah. have to force the Bruno They have to force yeah. the Bruno. Because I think the, the way that they ban this out is Ixia is a natural ah, counter to the Bruno, the and then the carry is like a 50-50 ban to the Bruno. Now, Devu can just go for their Rover now. Or do they just want their marksman yeah, here and get a Beatrix? The Beatrix, here at the L. Yeah. I feel like crazy. Brody. I mean, the other crazy one is potentially Harif, where yeah. you can't uh, win the lane, but I'm not so sure in this kind of composition yeah. will it work out well or not. Maybe they go Kaja for uh, Sawa or something like a front line. Like, like, get the Minotaur now. Because mm -hmm, I yeah. think it makes a lot of sense Like for, um, against the. Uh, Fire Flux Minotaur is like a hero that is okay when there's a, the presence of Lilia because you heal your teammates anyway. So the burst potential will not be as as much. And uh, obviously sustain oh, uh, the wins over the that factor. Okay, Brody. Well, I think the goal there is Ooh, wait, save our roamer. They like to sometimes hold on to that roamer for their yeah. last pick in case they want to pull something out like the digging, in case they need to do something drastically to be that game changer. And I feel like the gold laner, whether they pick it now or second, um, yeah. it's not going to be like a game changing pick. They could save yeah. that roam to be like the wild card, right? So yeah. Apex 47 here, the Hilda's gone. It's been something that he's loved. Yeah. They ban it themselves. What's really left for him? Whew, um, maybe they go for actually Matrix. Because of the range, Aerith is still here for Fire Flux. Oh, it's still a pretty strong hero. Queen. Yeah, the first time yeah. Queen Rosa is the only mid laner who played Terizla in on, M3's perhaps? history. Beatrix has been picked up, and oh, the Lapu Lapu. Oh. So Edith Rome. Yep, Edith Rome. Yeah, Edith Rome. Okay. I mean, it can't be Lapu Rome, right? Yeah. No. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, just, you just never check, know. It's just uh, checking. Just checking. We can't go yeah. that crazy during the knockout stage. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of Edith Rome, though. So a lot of it's been in the EXP lane. Yeah. Fireflux yeah. getting the flex on, though. The flux getting the flex, you know? Yep. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. You're amazing. <laughs> you're very creative. You're, that, you're creative, Dude. LaBelle. Oh, thank you. You're thank the best. You. Cho looks good for Devu. Um, that's the Sao. But then again, if you want to go stable here, you go Minotaur so that yeah. you help your Brody. And uh, there's also merit going for going for something like a Tigreal, so that there is a little bit of a front line. But yeah, the Cho or Minotaur should be the priority here for Devu. Yeah, because they should <laughs> find a way. Oh, the Diggy! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Lane domination, all lanes. And then maybe even like, if you can get a Cho, you get it. If you don't, it's fine. Just kill people. What do you guys feel about the draft? I like it. I think it's interesting. The Diggy's definitely, once again, it's that final pick. Oh, let's go! We're jumping into the game. I already forgot my <laughs> intro, but it's Fire Flux well, Esports going up against this boat. First big Lilia or last big Diggy. Let's go! Yep. As expected, um, this will be a very tight start because Fire Flux, they have very good late game, uh, early game, I mean, but the late game comes from Devu with their pokes. The support duel, the Varya plus the, Lil, oh, the Diggy, you oh. can see the struggles already of this duel. It Honestly, doesn't it's actually very difficult, especially they're facing up against Edith and Lilia, very strong laners. Yeah, I gotta say, Rosa was being very aggressive there. He did not allow Sunset Flower to see the sun. <laughs> Didn't allow him to see the sun. Yeah. That's but it's sunset, you know. So he's okay with that because he's a lover of having the sun yeah. leave him. So Sawo though. I'm going to watch on to Sawa because I want to see as he scales, as we move through this game. But definitely in this phase right now, mid side, mid lane is going to have a lot of issues with Rosa on this Lilia. And I think that's exactly what Fireflux want. Yep. They want to be able to push in. They want to be aggressive. And if they can do that, it's definitely a dub. Yeah, look at what um, Apex 47 is doing up top. He's achieving two things. First is that he is somehow protecting Sunshine. At the same time, he's also protecting the Lizard of Fireflux Esports. And what is the impl implication of that? That means that Magistolor's natural lane or p pattern of jungling will be disturbed a little bit. In fact, TNZ will get two Lizards, the right and the left Lizard of this map. Yeah, with that we can see, like, in terms of 
priority. It does seem like Fireflux Esports does have a little bit of priority, and I kind of feel like, again, even though, Wolf, you did say that the Lilia is going to be more influential come late yeah. game around the Lord fights, but I kind of feel like with this kind of composition, I kind of feel like Rosa can do quite a lot yeah. in the early stages of the game, so this turtle fight is going to be very interesting between Fireflux as well yeah. as Days Volt. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be a 4v3 down here as well. Diggy's still up in the top side. Sawo, if, if they can make that work, I mean, I think the main goal is try to get Carvey a little bit ahead in that gold lane. Yep. Turtle now up, and it looks Ooh. like Magister is going to go yeah. for the purple buff instead here. Yep. Man, just a little move that they did was already enough, and TNZ will be there. But the I really like what Magister is doing, because he knows that uh, TNZ is a level ahead, and he gets the invasion of the purple mm -hmm. instead. So that's him that, like upping the Ooh. A Little bit of a knock up. The bombardment comes down. Sawo yeah. taken out. Sunshine gonna get first blood. You know what? I'm liking the pathing coming in from Apex 47. Sure, that was an amazing engage, but it kind of feels like the job for Apex 47 is to have his eyes on the prize. And then the prize keeps on changing. Is it Magister? Keep an eye on him. Is it Sawo? Keep an eye on him. Because even during the turtle fight, he was like, wait, Magister, Magister is missing. He looked for him. Like, I like the proactiveness yeah. coming in from this roamer. You can already feel the confidence a little bit. After getting that first blood there, Apex now stepping a little bit more forward. Sunshine stepping a little bit more forward. They feel comfortable. And I think that could be the start, but they're going to have to be careful. Carvey still packs a punch, especially with that ultimate. Man. Can I be uh, excessively nerdy? Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, right nerd now? out, bro. Because I would say that the first two minutes of the game belongs to Fireflux Esports because of what Apex 47 did for his team and, of course, the coordination with TNZ. Oh. But my, oh my, the, Lord, the first turtle fight, Dei Vu, have recovered. Magistar has a little bit of you know, advantage over TNZ because of the purple buff that he was able to steal. Yeah, at this point, it is all about macro and, and trading as well. Like, fully understanding what can you fight for and what you cannot. And now, it looks like they're fighting for this purple buff. Never mind. I mean, TNZ and Rosie, they're definitely, they're, Rosa, they're definitely starting to test it. They're testing the water, getting a little bit deeper every single time, going into the jungle a little bit farther every time, seeing what they can start milking out of Deus Vault here. Let's take a look at these items, though. We'll yeah. Um, now, full item first. I uh, think Lapu Lapu will want to go for... Oh, Fury Hammer into the... Uh, perhaps Dominance Ice. Because typically you go damage builds, like right? if you're going for Lapu Lapu, but he's going for full tank because he wants to be in the front line. Alien trying to get the better of Kid Bomba here. Not going to go for the dive, though. Doesn't have the ultimate. You already used the Bravest Fighter a little bit earlier. Yeah, I got to say, Alien here building to make sure that Kid Bomba doesn't do anything. Oh. Let's lover well. survives. Close call, though. Turtle now up. Apex. Gonna hang out in this bush. Magister trying to find a way in. Sawo there as well. Rosa gonna do what Rosa does best and zone them away. TNZ gonna take the second turtle. That's two turtles to zero up Man. against Deuce Vault. My question for Wolf, right now in this Vault, they're kind of losing a little bit. But we saw the draft index. They are gonna do well come late game. My yeah. general rule is if you're a late game composition, you don't want to lose more than 2,000 gold. But for this game, what do you feel like this Vault is able to let through? Can they can they lose more than 2,000? Yeah, for sure. As long as they keep their mid lane turret. I mean, even the turret with the outer turret is important. Maybe perhaps uh, not lose more in the, in the side lane. So, mm -hmm. yeah, if, if they can... Uh, Maybe if they can let go, what, 4,000 gold lead, as long as they keep their mid lane intact, that allows them to kind of control this purple buff, for example, as well as the uh, orange buff on their side. They're going to be a little bit better, you know, when it comes to dealing with the late game. So I guess that's a, it's not more of a magic number. It's a, number, it's a magic number of turrets. Yeah, so it's not about gold, <laughs> it's about turrets. Exactly. Oh, a lot of damage on saw. Whoa! Alien able to pick up the kill. A lot more coming back. Carvey pops off the, the Torn Apart memories. Tianzi trying to get away here. Magister are going to chase him down. They want to re-engage. But Tianzi taking out Carvey. Picks up the kill. Alien down as well. It's a two for one to the side of Deus Vault. I mean, judging by the movement, it looks like Fire Flux Esports, they wanted to go for it. But Deus Vault, they're just like, yeah, come at us, buddy. We yeah. got the damage. Yeah, well done. But they Ooh. did take out the turret up top. But the thing is, there will be an exchange. So this is net positive for Deus Vault. Fireflux still holding the gold oh, lead no. as well. So coming out on top, taking that mid lane. Yes, they lose two heroes, but I definitely still think oh, they no. have a pace. They get that top tower too. Fireflux still holding the game. Wolf, you said oh, it. It's no. not about gold. It's about the outer turrets. And Dales will just lost two. Exactly. Uh, I would understand the top lane because it was traded off. It traded off for the bottom lane anyways. But that mid lane was essentially free. The thing is, Dales Volt, when they went for the rotation into the bottom lane, 
they forgot to kind of manage the lanes at least in the mid lane. And Sunset Lover was poked so much that he cannot defend that mid lane. And this is already a massive uh, win for Fireflux. I gotta say as well, Rosa is doing such a good job making sure that Sunset Lover does not join any fights. Yeah. And it's gonna be another play for the third turtle to gain. Apex 47, probably gonna pull the turtle away. May get reset here. No, Kid Bomba still able to hold on to it. Magister wants to pull it back over to his side. Rosa getting caught away from three members. Kid Bomba tries to get the penalty zone on, does miss, but a meteor does land on a Rosa. Gonna possibly send him back to base as he doesn't have the black shoes right now. Yeah. Devu, TNZ up against Magister here. 3v4. Can Devu try to get this turtle to try to even out the gold here? Right now, I feel like if they want to contest for it, they need Carvey. Carvey has the damage. Now Alien's going on to Magister. Magister Ooh. taking quite a little bit of damage. Big stun on the Sewo there. He does still have the time journey. Tianzi able to take it, though. And Alien dashes through. Nothing too major. Both teams, if they don't get the objective, they back off. Yeah, Fireflux Esports may have uh, lost some of the contention around this uh, mid lane because of Rosa just having to use the Purify and just to recall. But my oh my, Alien with a wonderful play. Zoning out Devu, and the reason why he was able to do that and achieve that was because of his itemization. Going in for defensive items first. I'm curious to see what his actual emblems will be, but if you're looking at what he holds on to now, Concussive Blast, which is kind of unorthodox, you know? Alien, if I'm not mistaken, he took the uh, defense first one and then okay. the, uh, the firmness. Festival, uh, firmness, oh. firmness and Festival of Blood. If I'm not okay. mistaken, that's why he, he took. Man. And that's gonna be good. I mean, Alien. You're good. We're going into game. Are we you... introduced with that one. Oh, Bell. Magistor. Gonna try to lock on the Sunshine here. Big Meteor coming in. Sunshine does miss. Oh, wait a second. Penalty zone on the several members. Sunshine taking out. Apex 47 might just be next. They're gonna move forward. Tianzi wants to try to buy some space for Rosa. He's gonna need to try to get out of here. Wait, no. 1v4. Alien there as well with Travis Fighter. Gonna lock on a car. Oh, the DD. Get the kill. Sawo saves the day and Alien falls next. It's a 5 4 1. Deus Vault coming out on top. Wipeout! What was that? We came out of the, the pause and they're just like, yeah, let's go for violence. Okay, I think the. Yeah. I think. The water got just, you know, it went to boiling <laughs> temperature so quickly At because that point of Fireflux. It evaporated. It, it evaporated. I mean, for Fireflux Esports, what they did was to go for the top lane push. And after the jump coming from Magistar, you would think that it will be a fight that Fireflux can fight. But Sunset Lover lands the ultimate onto three members of Fireflux Esports, lands the sphere or the meteor onto two. And because of the lightning torsion, they were burned out so low that they couldn't fight. The questionable thing for Fly Fireflux is after losing one and two members, they should have just they backed up. They re-engaged and they lost five in total. I think they were a little too confident there. They are still holding, you know, ever so slight gold lead, so I don't think it's like over for them. But Deus Vault, this is what they want. Yeah. They, they if they can yeah. survive through 10 to 15, 16 minutes, it could be GG's for Fireflux. Now, Lord up. Magistore is gonna start it. Does Fireflux even have a way in? I gotta say that 15 minutes for Dale's Vault is coming very, very the bombs. soon. Yeah. The damage coming in from Carvey is already a lot, and this gives space for Sunset Lover as well as Sao to be like, you guys don't need to deal that much damage, but Sao just got a Divine Glaive. Yep. Those bombs are gonna hurt even more. Ooh, Rosa though, holding the front line per usual, Alien with the Bravest Fighter. Look at the stun, taking a lot of damage. Carvey gonna take him out. Face full of torn apart memories. Magistar's looking for the next one. Magistar takes some damage. Time journey comes out. Sawo getting low, but still they find Air Apex 70, Apex 47. TNZ also very low. Magister still up. Both junglers around, but they gotta go back to base, get some health back, and let's run it one more time for this Lord. Dude, this the damage coming in from this vault. Like yeah. that Lapu Lapu looked like a marksman. Yeah. He looked like a goal laner, man. He just instantly gone. And the chain stuns coming up from Days World was on point. The way that they layered all of their crowd control, they don't have the, like the biggest uh, crowd control in the world. But if you layered them after one another, you can see that even a, a tank hero like Alien struggles. And we did mention that Alien had a very tanky buildup. Yeah. The item order as well as his uh, choice of emblems, it looked to be real good. But Alien just got deleted by Days World. But we gotta talk about Sao as well. Did you see that time journey? The timing, Last second. The timing Last of second. it all, right? That was insane. That's two times in a row now he's done that. That was so good. So good. And Fireflex, you can tell they're like trying to get it out, right? Like the, the bravest fighter one at a time. They send in Rosa one at a time. But I think they're going to have to approach these fights a little bit differently. 
Get Bombo, hit the penalty zone. Apex also taking face first in a Carby Matastor, but TMZ takes the Lord, takes out Kid Bomba, and Sawo pops the time journey as an escape route. Fireflux coming back into the lead. It looks Man. like Dale's Volt. Wrong timing there, and a little bit uncoordinated. Yeah, I, I, I would uh, really, really give props to TNZ just surviving. And then after getting the Lord with the Retribution, he even lets it decimate onto Kid Bomba, which is perfect because he got some of his life back. Then he gets out. Gonna be A-OK. -okay. Now they can use the Lord because there's no, no nobody died from Firefox Esports or the exchange. That means that they can use the Lord. That Meteor is definitely starting to hurt. Sunshine's gonna have to be careful here. Lord closing in on the top side. Positioning Ooh. is gonna be key. Rosa pops the black shoes. Back to about 70% health. Bombs outside the front door waiting for Fireflux to come in. Yeah. You're gonna have to take a couple ones to the face to knock here. At this point, Sunset Lover, that's not a meteor. That's a planet. <laughs> that's an entire planet. He's throwing. It's like a Su big planet or a small planet? Su like we're talking Jupiter or Pluto? Uh, Venus. It's on its way. It's so on its way. Dude, I gotta say, add more, like, I don't know, four minutes. It's gonna be a solar system. Ooh, galaxy. Galaxy. Galaxy Bomb. Yeah, Galaxy Bomb. That's, that would be a cool name. That is a cool name, isn't it? <laughs> galaxy yeah. Bomb. Next hero, yeah. Moonton, listen up. All right. That's so over the top, and I would love it. <laughs> galaxy shout, Ball. Shout out to One Piece. Oh, oh yeah. Right, oh, right, yeah. Oh, I, I, I caught it. Right, I know my stuff. Oh. All right, let's see if they can have uh, the heart of One Piece themselves. Magister going to hold down the front side. Lord going to be back up in 80 seconds. Wolf, where are we going from here? Yeah, I think um, Fireflux Esports, uh, they still have one Lord fight in them when it comes to, when it comes to like the, the strength of their composition. And it just helps that Sunshine now has the wind nature for that kind of play. Also, Rosa with the Divine Glaive, this will hurt a lot. Going to tear through all the defenses of Daewoo. Um, am I curious? Because Alien went for the Exhort Boots. Mm -hmm. So if you're not familiar, Exhort Boots, it's uh, it's just what we call here in the, it here in the Philippines, where you're not a roamer, but you get the roaming yeah. boots. Um, mm -hmm. Eight minutes. They swap over. Yeah. My, my only question is, how does Fire Flux actually engage in the fight? Because they have the Lapu Lapu to dive in the back line, but I kind of feel like with having the Diggy there, that's not going to be a really good idea. Yeah. Is it a better idea just to go for a front to back and just, you know, deal with Magister first or Kid Bomba first and then just peel one by one? Treat Dale's Volt like an onion. Yep. I think before I would have agreed with that, but now that their gold lead's getting to almost, you know, 3.5, I think as long as one of them can get rid of that Diggy ult, they're okay. Sawo held on to the Diggy ult too long last yeah. time. So Sawo, depending, ooh, wait a second, Rosa, a little bit of trouble. Kid Bomba gonna get knocked up. Kid Bomba wants more. Bomba, boom. Bomba, boom! There goes Rosa. Black Shoes won't help you today. Des Vault gonna take that one. Back off here, Madistor taking a little bit of damage as well. Apex 47 with the knock up. Ooh, a lot of damage. Alien in the backside. Apex 47 goes down to Sawo though. Hoot, hoot. Alien gonna be next. Kid Bomba picking one up. Three members down for the side of Fireflux. All five back up for Deus Fall. Sunshine on the run along with TNZ. Gonna get pulled back. Able to get away because of the CC nullification. Lord back up. Lover. Is Deus Fall gonna keep on going for this? Oh, TNZ, TNZ with oh. the Getty oh. now played. Carvey picking up the kill. Sunshine all by himself. I'm gonna let you catch your breath because that's a long play by play. Yeah. And now Deus Fall, they're claiming the Lord for themselves. Deus Fall on the initiative. They say they wanna fight. They just fight. Nothing much that Fireflux Esports can do about it. Yeah, Fireflux, a very ill-advised decision from them. They still fought because they wanted to go for the fight. They already lost, lost Rosa. That's majority of the damage output that was lost from their uh, from their axes. And now Deus Volt just punished them duly. I mean, for TNZ as well as the gang, they went into fight under the base of essentially the jungle of Deus Volt. Ill-advised, and that means that Fireflux just got obliterated by Dave. I would say this is a best of five. Both teams got to make sure that their mental stamina is taken care of. Because I do agree, Rosa getting that out of position was very dangerous for the team. And now it looks like Dale's Volk, they're looking for an opportunity. The Lord is marching at top. They're trying to get any kind of turrets, whether it be the bottom lane or the mid lane. And now, Lord going to be coming in. I will say Fireflux has plenty of ways to clear here. They have the Lilia, they have the Beatrix. It shouldn't be hard. This tower is gonna be able to stay up. 
But look at the way Sawa is like, you're staying in your base. Here's some bombs for you. There's no way out. Someone's got to take those to the face. And this oh, is exactly gosh. what we saw when they went up against TOV. And as long as they can keep them, you know, keep one or two of them at half health, it's a huge win for Deus Vault. And Fireflux is going to have to find a way around that. Yeah, right now, Astral Echo and Carvey just doing just a little bit of damage onto Fireflux. This is a situation where they're just like, you guys can stay in your Ooh. base, but you guys aren't staying safe. A lot of damage is coming from a lot of sources coming in from Deus Volk. Their composition here, having a lot of damage is really working out. And I'm a big fan of a lot of damage. <laughs> yep. You're a lot of damage. Not, You're a lot of damage. Not enough flex tape here for Fireflux. Yep. Flux tape. <laughs> so after this game, win or lose for Fireflux, I think it's time to ban out the diggy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Sir. I don't Sao think any, Sao, people are going to stop letting Sawa play it. Sao is just too good on this diggy, man. Yep. And the, the team is also very good at the diggy. The way that they're coordinated, the way that they're aggressive, because they know that there's a, an insurance policy courtesy of this uh, diggy. That really gave them the green light to be aggressive in this particular match. I just love that a team can have this kind of identity, having this pocket pick. Apex. Oh. Apex, Shh, shh, shh. I'm in the bush. Shut up, everyone. Shh, shut up. Right, be quiet. Oh, oh be so quiet. Go for it. Looks for Sunset. Sunset oh. just... Oh. A lot of hype for nothing there, but it's okay. Apex 47 now on the run. Oh, look for Sunset. Yo. Does miss it. Flickers over to try to get it. Not able to get anyone out, though. But we're seeing it. The, the water is bubbling right now, boys. Dude. He flickered for that. He could have <laughs> wanted caught. that. He yeah. could have gone. He chose caught, violence. He is like, nah, nah. I will die for this. Yeah. If Devu secures this next lord, it's already over. It's for me. Because uh, the pushing potential of Devu is pretty nasty. You have a CG potential from the Astral Echo. You have initiators from Magistars was Kid Bomba. And you have a third hitter, Carvey. So I think that they have all the tools in the latter portion of the game at the 18 minutes. Yeah. Them leading by 3,000, I think that this is a this is a guarantee for them if they secure the Lord. They got to find a way in here. Fire Flux, working the tri-bush right now. I feel like someone needs to find an angle. Find a way on the backside. Just don't walk into the bombs anymore because you know that is a lot of damage. Madistor going to try to push in on a Rosa there. Kid oh! Bomba! Boom once again on the backside. Apex 47 able to counterplay though. Kid Bomba, Immortality pops. He still goes down. The Lord finally falls. Madistor picks it up. Deus Vault takes it for the price of Kid Bomba, but they still take TNZ as well. Oh no, that's worth it. For so me, worth that was, it. That was so worth it. That was so worth it indeed. Purple buff going to Rosa, but that Lord, Devo with the pokes, Devo with the Lord dance, and then Kid Bomba going in for the flicker play. Very sacrificial at that because you know that he's gonna die anyways. Then was Simon. Yeah, he did his assignment. Then TNT was isolated from the team. So he was the one to get in front of the Lord. But Devo, they have what? Four members, three members in that area. The moment he showed up, he was poked down. And because Fireflux didn't have any saves on this Martis, they just lost their jungler, essentially. Then the Lord comes. Devo now with a big advantage. The movement coming in from Kip Boba, sacrificing himself for the team. That's an adult Bomba right there. That's an adult Bomba. That is adult not a kid Bomba. Bomba. That's an adult Bomba. Yep. Big Bomba. The big Bomba. Yep. I mature Bomba. The mature Bomba. The all-in Bomba. Let's see if he can bomb Fireflux out of here. Magistar. <laughs> Gonna kind of move through the mid side. And there's nothing they can do. They can't even defend their towers because it's just full of diggy bombs right now. Lord gonna get the crash in. Two inhibitors down. Rosa taking meteors to the face. Deus of all seem in complete control right now. Watch for Kid Bama. He's got the penalty zone ready. I'm just waiting for him to pop off. Sunset Lover lands another one. Tianzi brought down. Horse going to the Fallen Apex 47. Horse pop it as well. And the Lord connected onto the base. Time journey comes out and Kid Bama pops it down. And the base goes down as well. Deus Vault gonna take game one. That's the opening of this best of five series. I mean, I don't know, based on that game, we could go all five games, but I gotta say, that was an amazing performance by both teams. Yep. It was back and forth up until the late game. And the thing is, we know that this will be a, a game where the late game matters more, more for Devu. We know that in the early stages, there's a straight up chance 